I'm going to rank the most obnoxious football fans from 1st to 18th, with 18th being the most annoying, the most toxic, the worst fan base, to 1st being the best fan base. In 18th, for me, there's no doubt about this, Port Adelaide, you're in dead last. Fuck you guys, I annoy the shit out of me. Classic South Australian fans, just... Rowdy as fuck. Pissed me off so much. I've been to the Adelaide Stadium back in 2015 for a prelim final. And holy shit, I have never hated a fan base so much. Next up, I'm going to have to put my men in there. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to say Richmond is second last. Now, as a Richmond fan, I know how much traction we've been getting in the last three or four years because we've been successful. All the bandwagons are following us at the moment. Like, everyone you'll see on the street, half the people, you go, oh, who do you go for Richmond? You'll say, oh... You know, okay, when you've been following them, oh, the last two years or something. The bandwagons make the Richmond support fan base not as good as it used to be. It used to be number one for me, and in my heart it still is. I'm waiting for those bandwagons to fuck off so we can get back to the culture. In 16th, I'm going with Essendon. Now, I was going to put Essendon dead last. Look, to be honest, it's all kind of a toss-up at the very bottom. But Essendon fans are absolute scumbags. The way they treated uh, Nick Foster and Dylan Grimes after... A game in 2020, the way they just treat players, the way the way they are, the people they are, they are terrible fan base. They fucking annoy the shit out of me. Um, they're going in 16th place. In 15th, I'm going with the Eagles purely because I remember the way they treated Job Watson after his comeback game for Essendon, after all the drug saga and stuff. Terrible fan base. Terrible way, like the way they treated him, you know, a legend of the game was so disappointing. And um, for that reason, they're in 15th place. In 14th, I'm going with Collingwood. Look, it's Collingwood. None of them have teeth. They all have tattoos. But I didn't put them lower because I think the way they act for their team, sort of the, the drive they give their own fan base is actually quite impressive. So they're for me, they're 14th. In 13th, I'm going with Carlton. Now Carlton, you know, the Greeks, the Italians all those lot, they aren't the worst. Only recently have they been getting on my nerves because they're becoming a better club. But fuck, you know, years of years of hatred for that club, the arrival club of Richmond's, um, they also pissed me off. In 12th, I'm going with the Geelong Cats. Now, Geelong have traditionally pissed me off. And I feel like traditionally they've had a bad rap for being very rowdy, very annoying. Just, you know, in terms of a fan base, they just piss a lot of people off. Maybe because their success the last sort of 10, 15 years, that attributes to the annoyingness of the club. In 11th, I'm going with Adelaide. Now, for me, Adelaide are just as bad as Port Adelaide, but just a couple little things about Port make them a lot worse. I think Adelaide have been humbled the last couple of years as a fan base. You know, 2017, they got their fucking ass kicked by Richmond. Humbled them a lot. And now through this whole shitty rebuild they're going through, they're finally calming down as a fan base. In 10th, I'm going with the Fremantle Dockers. Now, I have actually grown to like the Dockers supporters. They used to be in my bottom three. Um, just because, I, you know, back in around 2010 to 2015, fuck, they annoyed the shit out of me. Ryan Crowley, Hayden Ballantyne sort of just thrived on that crowd. But I'm going to put them a bit lower down to 10. In ninth place, I'm putting Hawthorne. Now, the Hawks, for me, aren't that bad. The fact they won three premierships in a row and they didn't get too much on my nerves is a good thing. But still, the bandwagons back in those days annoyed the shit out of me. Um, a lot of friends I have go for Hawthorne. So I've, I've experienced firsthand the annoyance when they are successful. And they're finally being humbled going through this massive rebuild. Rounding out the top eight. Now, in eighth place, we're going with the Giants. Look, they haven't been the most annoying club of all time. But just because of their success and those new fake fans, I'm putting them in eighth place. In seventh place, I'm going for North Melbourne. Now, the Kangaroos have suffered so much shit. But that video of the people trying to ruse, ruse, ruse. That just, let alone, has to put them down a couple spots. In sixth place, I'm going to go with the Brisbane Lions. Now, for me, they would have been a lot higher. But the recent success, the sort of annoyingness, you know, Mitch Robinson, the fans, the aggression, just the way they behave, has been coming under a little bit of scrutiny recently. In fifth place, I'm going to go with the Gold Coast Suns. Now, I do love the Suns, but I just feel very sad for them. I didn't want to put them any lower. Um, but they have been beating Richmond, my men, quite a bit recently. A lot of those close wins, Carmichael Hunt, Noah Anderson. So for that reason, I'm putting them down in fifth place. In fourth place, I am putting the Dogs in fourth place. Now, I do quite like the Dogs support group. From now on, I don't actually mind people who support these clubs. So the Dogs in fourth, well-deserved, very humbling club, very nice club. 
it kind of gives me that family vibe as well. In third place, I'm going with the Melbourne Demons. Now, might be surprised I'm putting the Ds this high up. Very first class, cheese platters, suits, all that kind of shit. You know, the higher ups, the rich ones, per se. Apart from the last year where they have been getting ahead of themselves, I was very happy for their support group and their fan base to actually win in a grand final for the first time in like 20, 30, 1,000 years. In terms of a fan base, they don't annoy me too much. So they're going in third place. Second place is St. Kilda. Now, Saints was so close to being first. I feel really bad for them. Only one flag in how many years they've been in the competition. I think their fan base is very loyal. If someone goes for the Saints, it's because they love them throughout. I don't go for them to bandwagon or anything else because they're not that successful. So I'm putting them in second. And in first place, I'm putting the Swans, the Sydney Swans. I think their fan base is phenomenal. The culture of the Bloods has sort of transcended from the players and the staff and the club through to the fan base. I think their supporters are relentless. I, I love the way they go about it. And for me, they are the best fan base or the ones that piss me off the least in the AFL. Let me know if you agree with those.